Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, on Windows 10, uh, one of the features that is not always understood well, and people sometimes go crazy with these uh, settings, is the sync capability. Now, we know that sync is not going to be worked on more on Windows 10. Microsoft is actually stopping the development of the sync functionality, but it's not removing it. What that means is that if you would like to sync some of the settings in Windows, uh, passwords, stuff like that, it actually will work between Windows 10 machines, but you have to know how to use them. I've talked about this, but a long time ago, and I think you know, from time to time, a refresh with the latest versions of Windows is not a bad idea. How do you sync between your computers and what does it actually do? If you have more than one PC with Windows 10, like I do, sync is a great way to make things much simpler on each machine. If you do the same thing on each machine, you just switch between computers. So go into your settings and in your settings, you will go into the accounts section. Now to sync between machines, you do need to have a Microsoft account like I have right now. It's extremely important to do so. If you don't use a Microsoft account, you cannot sync between machines. Like a local account, for example, that uh, does not use any um, Microsoft account information does not sync. So once you are logged in with your account, what you do is you go down on the left to sync your settings. And here you'll see what it's actually doing. Sync settings on that switches on is the general switch. It's on or it's off. And that is needs to be on once you actually want to sync stuff. Then you choose what you want to sync between the machines, the theme, What's the theme? It's your wallpaper, for example. The colors you choose and the personalization options. All of that is going to be synced to the other 10 Windows 10 machines you have. So that means your computers will feel and look the same. Then passwords. All the passwords that Microsoft Windows has registered for different accounts that you use will also move on to the next Windows version. That could be very useful. And also what's nice is that, for example, in the passwords here, so many times I've used my smartphone to go to some accounts. And of course you get to a point where, oh, you know, what's the password that I used there? I don't, I don't remember. And thanks to the syncing capabilities and the fact that on your smartphone, like the Android phones, you can add some of the Microsoft apps. Well, there's actually syncing going on with the passwords, which means I go on my smartphone, it's like, oh, I don't have to remember the password. Windows remembers that password for me. Then it's language preferences. So if you actually use the computer always on the same language um, and the same, you know, uh, scheme of language, like if you have multiple languages, this will sync all of that with the other machines, including your keyboard settings for that language. And finally, other Windows settings, um, anything that you change within the settings app, that um, you know to personalize the um, feel and the uh, the use of Windows 10 is going to sync also on other machines. In general, that means that other Windows 10 machines that you have will all feel the same. The good news also about this is that if your PCs are at different locations, say you have a PC at home, you have a PC in your office, and you want them to be the same and sync together. This syncs wherever your computer is. It will simply log on to your Microsoft account, check the settings of your other machines and if they're syncing, and just import all of that wherever you are, as long as you're always on the same Microsoft account, which is very important. So this is kind of cool because it makes things kind of simple and easier for um, multiple PC users. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.